What's up guys, so before I get to the main point of the video, which is obviously to show you my trading progress, I will need to mention one more thing. I'm not sure if you have seen my latest video I uploaded like two days ago, uh, basically to keep it short and simple, I've asked everyone uh, what do you think I should upload in my future videos, like what kind of content? Do you either prefer mixed content such as CSGO, Overwatch or basically any game, or you simply prefer strictly only TF2 content? Now, literally more than 90% of you said that you want only TF2 content. And I'm aware of that, uh, that uh, after all this, there are still some of you who will still prefer CSGO content over anything. But look, let's be honest. At first, I wanted to upload what I wanted without any limitations. In, of course, in t term of content I upload. I honestly think I should have made this decision a really long time ago. There's clearly only little interest in anything other than TF2 from you guys. Okay, so what's the point of uploading videos from other games when you are simply not interested in them? Well, I don't see the point either. So yeah, we are now at a close to 4000 subs and I still consider myself as a very small fish on YouTube. I hope it gives sense now altogether. Basically, um, I'm going to be way more productive in terms of quality of my TF2 content from now on. And yeah, that's basically it. So. Yeah. Okay guys, well, it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded a legit trading episode uh, for my trading series and I've been honestly thinking about this a lot lately. How should I name this trading series as? What should be the trading goal? Uh, like, well, most of you people suggested me that it would be great to trade up to something so expensive like Burning Team Captain or, I don't know, Burning Killer Exclusive. And I'm still not really 100% sure what I should name this series as. I don't really want to feel limited. When I think about it now, I always tell people one thing. So when people ask me uh, about tips and trading, I, I always uh, try to explain them that uh, they shouldn't ever trade for the dream hats or whatever. Uh, what I always tell to people is just aim for profit, uh, just care about the price, don't care about what the item looks or you know, what the item is. What I always tell to people is just to aim for profit. And also I would like to keep this trading series somehow neutral. In a way of uh, trading whatever I get without any set goals. And the main problem with all my trading videos uh, from past is that I've set a goal which is um, it isn't really easy to reach, but for me it is. And um, I sometimes didn't get past uh, even like 10 episodes from the series. And uh, I feel like I kind of let them unfinished in some way. So as I said, I'm not sure how much support these videos will get. Uh, I'm no more going to set a goal in trading and if I get something sick, I will just announce it uh, like the normal way. So it's been a long time since I uploaded last video uh, about trading. I made a shit ton of profit in recent days and I would love to share that profit with you guys and um, possibly motivate you. So yeah. Okay guys, just uh, one more heads up, uh, note over whatever it is. Um, most of these trades happened in CSGO and um, they contain uh, CSGO items, not TF2 items. Now I know some of you might be sad for that, but I will try my best to switch uh, to TF2, to fully switch uh, to TF2 with all my items in the coming days. My tip uh, for the CSGO and TF2 trade just in general is uh, when you are, uh, when you have some item and uh, someone offers you, let's say, uh, two cheaper items. You should require at least a bit of overpay from him uh, to so you can profit on it. Now, same goes uh, on the other hand when you are buying something. Let's let's get into position that, uh, for example, you are the guy who has these two cheaper items, and you want uh, something better. Now, this guy will probably ask you to overpay, but you you don't really want to overpay because that's the whole point of training to make profit. So. When you are trying to upgrade, uh, don't overpay, and when you are downgrading uh, from your side, uh, then ask them for overpay. First of all, as you can see, this is the perfect example, uh, what I was talking about a few seconds ago. So I upgraded uh, these three lower tier items for one bigger one. And uh, in this case, I sold my Felcher Knife Vanilla, my USB Orion and Statric uh, AK-47 Cartel for Shadow Digger Screams of Velvern. Now. In this case, I think uh, in terms of value, I made about 10 euro profit, which is like 4 keys uh, CSGO, which isn't bad already. 
And uh, when I even consider the fact that I've upgraded uh, my lower tier items for a bigger one and even made profit on it, that's a really insane deal. Okay, so in the next trade, I actually sold my, I sold some of my keys uh, from the golden pen trade. Now, I'm not sure how many of them I added. Um, this commentary is live, by the way. So I have no idea about the prices. So these trades happened a long time ago. And I'm not really sure. And actually, this is my uh, own way of checking how many keys I... Uh, if there are a lot of items in trades, uh, let's say keys, and you want to check how many keys in there, just copy-paste every everything in there and just paste it to something like Google Docs and um, just paste, paste it like this. Now, copy only one uh, one name. Let's say uh, we will copy this. So Control C and now we press Control F to find. So basically we paid 340 keys. So in the next trade I actually sold my flip knife. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so 24 keys. Now I think that was the full price of the knife. Let's actually check that. So go to SteamAnalyst.com uh, and uh, the knife was flip vanilla. So just type flip vanilla. So 23 keys and I sold it for 24 keys, which is obviously one key over the price. And um, yeah, that's actually a pretty good uh, offer. Considering uh, when people offer peer, they usually pay 85% and 85% from 23 keys is actually 19, so 20 keys. So I made uh, a decent uh, four keys profit for, because you, you will see because of this. So yeah. Uh, let's get back to the another trade. So as you can see, this is another trade with keys. Uh, I think there are more keys uh, in this trade. I will need to need to see that. Yeah. So let's see. There are Phoenix, Operation Wildfire, and Chroma Free. Okay. So I will just uh, remove the Chroma and uh, just leave the case key in there. So basically, it will count all the keys. And as you can see, it's 195, which which isn't bad for the current with fate. So in the next trade, I actually bought um, this M9 Bayonet Crimson Web for, let's see. So we'll copy this thing and just paste it there. So 52 keys. Let's see how much it's worth. So go to M9 Crimson and we'll check the full tested version. So, oh, 56 keys. I paid 55, right? 52. So even better. When you buy uh, stuff with TF2 keys, you need to overpay by a lot. And people usually have this ratio of uh, 7 to 8. Yeah, I think it's 7 to 8. Uh, wait, let me just calculate it. So, we paid uh, 52 keys, right? So... I think this one is what I used. So the ratio, what people pay is uh, basically seven uh, CSGO keys for eight TF2 keys. And no matter how how much how many keys you have, uh, they will always pay with this ratio. Now, let's see. So with this ratio, uh, we had uh, 52, we paid 52 keys uh, TF2. So we will type 52 keys and just calculate it. So we paid 45 keys uh, for this item, for this knife in CSGO. Let's actually calculate the 85% from it. So oh, 56 is the original price. So 85%, 47. So we paid even under the quick sell price, uh, which is used in CSGO, which is amazing enough. So yeah. So we made uh, quite a lot of profit in this trade. Now, uh, in the next trade, I actually sold my... Oh, wait a second. I sold my Crambit Scorched Battle Scared uh, for the Bayonet Ultraviolet and uh, AQ47 Vulcan Factory New, I think. Yeah, Factory New. And uh, Op Redline. Now, um, this is exactly what I said. Um, I had this... Uh, pretty big knife. It's worth uh, quite a lot of money. Now, I downgraded this knife for knife overpay, for the item overpay, sorry. So he paid uh, the with Bayonet Ultraviolet 
and AK-47 Vulcan and um, when I count it up, let's actually see, so we're a bit scorched and um, let's see, the battle scout version is 40 keys now I do realize that uh, prices might be different uh, in this time, so you have to keep this in mind so uh, 40 keys um, and I sold it for Bayonet Ultraviolet field tested, right? yeah, so Bayonet Ultraviolet field tested So 27 keys already, and uh, so let's open the calculator and actually count it up. So 27 plus. Now, Vulcan, factory new, so 22 keys. So he added um, AK-47 Vulcan, which is 22 keys, so 49 keys, plus he also added operate line minimum wear. which is five keys. So in total, so in total I sold it for 54 keys in items. Now, uh, when I compare it uh, to the original price of the knife, so when we check the price of the knife again, uh, you can see we made quite a lot of profit. So from 40 keys, we made uh, easy 14 keys profit. So I think this is how you make uh, how you can make easy trades uh, no matter what. So when you have, uh, as I said, when you have um, expensive item, sell it for downgrade and sell it for overpay. When you have lower items, uh, just don't overpay and uh, upgrade your items uh, for free. Basically, it's hard to find people who will do this, but it's not impossible. So yeah, uh, well. I'm not sure if I want to mention these low rates. I mean, they're not that important. I just sold uh, this cosmetic for some refined metal and the genuine, uh, I don't even know what to call that. So yeah, um, let's see the next rate. So this is actually a big one. I sold uh, some of my leftover keys uh, for the Statrek M9 Bone and Marble Fate. Now this, I think, as I remember, this was a pretty good rate. So let's actually count that. Let's actually double check. So. Yeah. So 300 keys. When you go to the market and um, wait a second. So let's go to CSGO. Let's go to knives and I will show you something. So as you can see, this is the uh, cheapest knife and this is the most expensive knife on market. Now, wow, do they actually sell market already? I didn't even know about that. But yeah, um, this is the M9 Bionet Marble Fate. Now, as you can see, uh, they can't really sell for a lot uh, because the maximum price is um, at 420. I think this is the maximum price of the market right now. So yeah, um, if the item is worth actually more than 200, uh, I mean, yeah, over 200 keys, if it's actually more than uh, 200 keys, it's uh, basically not on market. Now, these items usually get uh, pretty weird prices on Steam Analyst. Okay, so we paid 300 keys for it. Now, uh, TF2 keys. And uh, we made actually quite some amount of profit. In the next trade, I uh, basically bought a Star Trek Bowie Knife Crimson Web, which is a pretty, pretty good knife. It's The funny fact about Bowie Knives is that uh, all of them look... Uh, in a pretty good condition. Even the field tested bowie knife, uh, I will just show you. So yeah, for example, this is the uh, field tested one. Uh, I think it for a field tested, it looks amazing. So yeah, um, I bought it uh, for, let's see, 115 keys. And I believe I asked 170 keys, 160, 140, I'm not sure. I think around that in CSGO keys. So, I made uh, quite a lot of profit in this trade. Now, in the next trade, let's actually get to the another page. So, let's get to the bottom. So, in the first trade, I sold my uh, Shadow Degas Crimson Web. I uh, bought um, a really long time ago. You, you can saw that it was one of the first trade. And I also added, um, let's actually see, I'm not sure how many keys. I would say around 20 or so. So okay, key, copy. So twenty four. Um, so let's see. Um, the Shadow Daggers, Vulcan Factory New, and for Asimov and uh, twenty keys. Uh, how many? Twenty four keys pure. 
Hmm. And, I, and I bought Kermit Vanilla. Now this is a pretty good rate. I mean, I added uh, quite a lot of keys, but uh, considering uh, this knife is like, I think 80 euros or 70 euros, and even less like 60 euros, I think. And uh, Vulcan is uh, quite a lot, uh, and the uh, enforcement is like 30 euros. Hmm. I think I made still quite a lot of profit in this trade. Uh, in the next trade, I bought another knife, which is the Falchion Stained. Uh, this is a really cheap knife. Let's actually close these tabs. Let's see how much I paid for it. So, 16 keys. Uh, this is more than more than good. Uh, in TF2 keys, uh, because nobody's going to give you a knife for 16 CSGO keys even. Now, this guy gave it to me for 16 TF2 keys, which is uh, more than enough. So, yeah. In the next trade, I actually sold my uh, Falchion knife, Urban Mast, for Gut Knife Crimson Web, Battle Scared. Now, many people might say that um, Felcher Knife uh, looks better, it's field tested, and I don't know what else, And but the Gut Knife is actually not that bad uh, at all. I mean, some people hate on it uh, because of its looks, but honestly, so as I said, this knife is way more demanded uh, when I compare it to this one. So I made the trade, I mean like, the, I think five euro profit, which isn't much, uh, but still. So in the next trade, I bought uh, the flip knife Marble Fate for, let's see, 88 keys. Let's double check that, just in case. Yeah, 88 keys. So I think that was pretty good trade. Okay guys, so this is actually all for now. I will make another episode as soon as possible. And as always guys, stay tuned for more and uh, stay awesome. See you guys till the next one.